What's up, y'all? We saw Arenado get traded to the Cardinals a couple days ago for not that much uh, value. It was um, one guy, Austin Gomer, who's a good pitcher, and then like three to four prospects who aren't even in the top 100. So now I'm thinking with the Braves, um, a contending team that might lose Marcelo Zuna, Chris Bryant is the perfect piece for them, and I'm going to explain why in this video. Currently, they have Austin Riley slotted in at that third base spot, and he played there in the playoffs for them. Didn't do great. Didn't really have a great playoffs. He struck out a lot, it seemed. Now, um, I think they honestly trading Riley for Chris Bryant might be almost giving up too much, considering what Arenado got. Now, also, Chris Bryant is a lot worse player than Arenado, and Arenado has like six years left on his contract, which actually isn't good because Arenado is kind of older. Chris Bryant only has one year on his contract, which will lower his value. Right now, the Braves outfield will look like Christian Pache in center field, Acuna in right, and then they kind of have a hole in left field. Hopefully, it's Marcelo Zuna. We don't know if the DH is going to be back this year. Um, if not, it's Ender and Cierte. So, preferably, they'd want to keep Austin Riley, slot him in at left field, or a bench bat if Ozuna comes back. And again, if Austin Riley has a bench bat, that is really good. The Braves really didn't have a chance to trade for Arenado because they also need to re sign uh, Freddie Freeman next year and he was too much money. Um, but Chris Bryant isn't that bad. I mean, a lot of people are kind of off on Chris Bryant because he had a bad 2020, but it was 34 games. You think of that, think about 34 games in comparison to a 162 schedule, it's not that big of a deal. In fact, he had a 903 OPS in 2019. He had 31 home runs and he was an all-star. He's one year removed from an all-star. Um, so I still think he's a good player and that is why the value actually might be more than I expect. Although I would think the Braves could probably get away with giving, a, um, giving up like a 40 through 50 ranked prospect, like maybe two in the 30 through 50 ranked prospects in their own farm system and get Chris Bryant, for, Chris Bryant for one year and see if he resigns. The Braves have this player named William Contreras, who's their seventh ranked prospect in the farm system and their backup catcher. I would love if they sent William Contreras to the Cubs for Chris Bryant and then you have Wilson Contreras and William Contreras as the, the starting catcher and the backup catcher and their brothers. It'd be fun if they took, like they switched every day uh, playing. So that'd be kind of cool. We'll see what the Cubs asking price is for Chris Bryant. It might be Austin Riley. And if it's Austin Riley, I'm not that mad about it. If you can make sure that Chris Bryant resigns, obviously there's no guarantee. But if not, I'd be willing to trade, uh, move Riley to left field. Hopefully the DH is back for Ozuna. I just hope the DH is back for the National League in general. I don't want to watch pitchers hit. They talk about growing the game. Uh, it's no fun watching pitchers hit. Let these guys like Nick Castellanos, Marcelo Zuna, um, Jesse Winker, let those guys hit. So if not, trade Chris Bryant for like three prospects in like the, the 40 to 60 range. And there you go. The Cubs get some prospects to rebuild with. And the Braves get a starting third baseman who is an, an all-star level third baseman. And because they're competing this year and they're going to need one more bat if they want to compete with the Mets. Whether that's re-sign Ozuna or trade for Chris Bryant. Uh, that's my video. Hopefully the Braves go out and get them because I'm not really sure who else there is on the market to go get. I mean, it's Marcelo Zuna. So if you guys enjoyed the video, um, like, subscribe, comment. I'm out. Peace.